here's how. Okay, so nag-start ako sa interview ng 5.30 a.m. noong um, June 2. So, it took almost more than 24 hours lang. So, sabi dun sa update, um, about two business days daw yung verification once na natapos mo na yung recording ng interview. So, ulitin natin guys, yung interview po sa Palfish is not an actual interview. So, parang magde-demo lesson ka lang, pretending that you are teaching a student, pretending that you are teaching a five-year-old student, and wala kang ibang gagawin, kundi um, ipakita mo kung ano yung mga uh, props na ginagamit mo, paano mo um, i-showcase yung teaching skills mo. Um, yung background, hindi sila ganun ka-strict as long as wala silang um, nakikitang kalat. Um, mas preferred nila yung madaming stuff toys, madaming toys, madaming reward systems. Papakita ko dun sa video kung kaano um, kasimple yung background ko. So, mga stuff toys ko lang na pinagsama-sama <laughs> sa likod. Okay, so, papakita ko ngayon yung um, update na na-receive ko just this morning. So, after two business days, ito na yung update. So, here is a message I got at 11.49 a.m. today from Palfish Operation Carry. So, si Carry yung nag-evaluate ng aking Um, demo lesson. So, here, click mo lang yung picture. And ito yung result. So, as you can see, guys, I aced the interview. Lahat siya five. Five out of five. Wala siyang three, walang one. Okay, so, i-discuss ko. Uh, disgust. <laughs> Disgust. <laughs> Okay, so i-discuss ko sa inyo isa-isa kung paano ma-achieve 'yan. Okay, so bibigay ako ng magbibigay ako ng tips. Okay, so unahin natin yung um, teaching environment. Sa teaching environment, um, okay guys, so dun sa teaching environment, um, sabi dito You did a great job in keeping camera at eye level, showing your face and shoulder, classroom lighting, keeping device stable, and having a quiet environment. Nice work. So, ito po yung importante sa lahat. Um, mostly, uh, kailangan talaga natin ng matahimik na lugar, maliwanag, and... Um, yung camera orientation natin syempre hindi dapat tabingi um, hindi yung ilong lang yung nakikita hindi pwedeng mata lang yung nakikita pag sinabi kasi na eye level it should show your face your shoulders tapos yung hand gestures kasi what's the importance of showing your TPR or um, your hand gestures kung hindi mo naman siya Um, papakita sa camera. So, useless yon. Then, classroom lighting, syempre, kung madilim, hindi ka makikita ng student mo. And then, keeping device table. Since phone lang yung gamit natin, kailangan habang nagkiklik-klik ka dun sa screen mo, hindi gumagala. You can use anything to keep your mobile stable. Okay. Next is have um syempre para maging stable din yung device mo dapat battery full ka at maayos yung internet connection mo or yung mobile data mo. Then quiet environment. Kailangan na tahimik. Ulit-ulit 'yan. Tahimik, tahimik, tahimik. Cat. Fish. Monkey. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa completion of design content. You did a great job in not skipping slides. 
accomplishing teaching objectives and teaching guides, time management, allocating appropriate time for each teaching stages, and finishing all the slides. Nice work! So here naman guys, um, tips na ipoprovide ko. Wala kayong uh, lalaktawan ng pages. Kailangan lahat ituturo ninyo. May steps naman doon kung ano yung ituturo or guide kung paano mo ituturo yung page. So, ano yung una mong sasabihin, ano yung next step na gagawin mo, at yung last. So, ando naman yung uh, um, nakikita sa lesson. Then, um, kailangan tapusin mo yung slides. 25 pages. Kailangan 25 pages. Uh, yung lesson kasi is up to 25 minutes. So, kailangan mong i-manage yung time mo hanggang matapos mo siya uh, ng 25 minutes. So, hindi mo kailangan madaliin. Kailangan kung 25 minutes, edi at least 1 minute per slide ka. So, kailangan mo din mag-provide ng allowance para sa latter part ng ng classes kasi andun yung feedback or andun din yung um, greetings, pagpapaalam. Then, um, ano pa ba? Yung objectives mo, syempre, dun sa page na yun, ano ba kailangan matutunan ni student? Kailangan niya matutunan kung ano yung alin yung eyes, kung alin yung nose, kung paano mag-say ng hello, kung paano mag-click ganon. So, kailangan ma-target mo yung objective ng lesson. Kailangan mo tapusin yung slides and wala kang i-skip. Bakit? Most likely kasi nakaka-receive ng complaints yung mga teachers na hindi tinatapos yung lesson. Kasi, syempre naman, ikaw ba naman nagbayad ng full tapos marireceive mong service incomplete? Syempre, lucky naman si student doon, di ba? Okay, so next naman is uh, verbal expression. You did a great job in no voice dragging, speaking with moderate volume and speed with appropriate intonation changes, using language that is not too hard for young students. Nice work! So here naman guys, um, no voice dragging, so hindi kailangan, uh, okay, you did great, good job something like that. So, hindi kailangan ganun. Yung parang walang energy. Parang, syempre, kahit sino naman hindi kaganahan makinig sa teacher na antukin, di ba? Okay. So, kailangan mo din na moderate volume. Hindi kailangan sobrang pasigaw kasi um, ang ending is parang sumasabog na yung voice mo sa, sa video. So, hindi magandang pakinggan. So, yung sakto lang. Yung tamang level lang. At mapapagod ka din ng sobra pag super hyper. Um, pag so, sobrang mahina naman, pangit din naman. That's one. And yung speed. So, importante ito sa mga students, guys. Sa demo lesson kasi, guys, kailangan natin ng medyo magbagal. Moderate na speed. Yung parang ganto lang na speed ng pagsasalita ko. Um, hindi kailangan sobrang mabilis kasi hindi ka naman nagbabasa ng super daming text puro mga target words lang naman so habang nagpo-provide ka ng instruction sa student mo kailangan ay slow or moderate lang yung speed then yung intonation importante din yun kailangan jolly um, usadong high pitch kasi <laughs> pangit naman pakinggan mapapagod ka din masakit sa lalamunan So, yung papakita ko sa inyo yung clip, a uh, small clip ng video ko paano nag-change yung intonation ko. What can you see in the picture? Ooh, Ricky, can you tell me what is this? Ooh, it's a monkey. Monkey. Can you say the word? Hello. Monkey. Good job. One more time. Say, say it with me. Hello. 
monkey. Great, using language that is not too hard for young students. So, kailangan, syempre, simple words. Alalaanin mo level zero yung student mo dito. Mostly, kasi sa China, kahit three years old pa lang, pinag enroll na nila sa mga online English schools for them to learn uh, English. Hindi, hindi naman yan adult student. So, just simple um, instructions, simple words na madaling intindihin ni student. Yung teaching tools. You did a good job in reward system. So, meron akong mga stars. Ito kasi yung ginagamit ko before sa previous company ko. Um, yung reward systems na ginawa ko naman, guys. Um, puro downloaded lang siya from Google. And then, um, printed out. Tapos, um, nag-cut out ako. Super effort talaga yon Then, dinikit-dikit ko lang siya sa cardboard. Tapos, cut out ulit. Tapos, dikit sa popsicle sticks. Para madali siyang hawakan at madali lang siyang ipakita sa camera. Then, yung props ko naman, meron talaga akong stuff toys. Kasi, yun yung hilig ko since bata pa ako. Dami akong stuff toys. Lalo yung yellow teddy bear ko at yung dalawang giant teddy bears ko sa likod. Yun yung ginamit ko sa background. Kasi wala talaga akong ibang mapagkukunan na cutouts or printouts ngayon dahil naka community quarantine tayo. So, hindi naman siya required na mag-printout ka ng tarpaulin mo. Um, kasi hindi naman siya, ano, hindi naman siya nakalagay dun. Pero, anything na creative na parang yung idea is pang entice ng kids magugustuhan ng bata yun yung magandang gawin na background hindi naman strict si uh, Palfish as long as hindi siya um, about sa previous company mo or mga ibang ESL company so kung meron kang sa 5-1 to kailangan tatakpan mo yun kung meron kang sa ibang companies kailangan hindi siya nakikita syempre magkakaroon ka ng conflict sa contract mo pag pinakita mo yon. My props for my classroom. I also have my toys and some reward system. So I have so many, so many stars. I also have good job. Um, lollipop and some fruits for my reward system. So I also use a lot of TPR or hand gestures during my lesson so I can make the lesson engaging. Next is attitude. <laughs> you did a great job in being active. Like I said, kailangan mo talagang magbaliw-baliwan pag nagtuturo ka. So, kailangan joyful, active, alive. Yung dress code naman, guys, hindi siya ganun ka-strict kasi um, hindi naman sinabi dun kung ano. Pero yung ideal kasi nila is color blue na shirt. Pero hindi round neck. Kailangan may may collar para mas presentable naman tignan. And then, sitting upright. Kailangan uh, hindi ka nagsaslouch. Basta yung sakto lang na nakikita yung hanggang chest mo. Tsaka yung shoulders at yung ulo mo. Behaviors. You did a great job in correcting pronunciation, TPR, or total physical response. Um, ito yung pinaka-importante part ng pagtuturo sa mga kids. Bakit? Kasi... Um, not everything that you say is understandable or is easy for the students to understand. So, paano nila ngayon maiintindihan yung sinasabi mo? Paano ka ngayon nila um, magigets? Paano nila masusunod yung instructions mo? Not just words, but incorporate natin yung TPR. So, kapag sinabing follow me, circle this, circle that, um, point up or point down, point to your nose, ganon. Tapos, encourage mo si student. So, from time to time, every time na meron siyang nagagawang good work or good job, palagi mo siyang i-cheer. Uh, Igyan mo siya ng rewards. 
yun yung nakakapag-excite sa student. Ayan, basta ganun, kailangan mong maging masayahin na teacher. Kailangan mong maging positive palagi. So, pag meron siyang mga maling na gagawa, ba, ikokorek mo lang siya in a very positive way. So, you can try again. Are you sure about that? How about this? Or how about that? Ganun. Ganun lang yung simple na way ng pag ng student. What is it? It's a... Monkey! Yay! Now let's say, Hello, monkey! Hello, monkey! Great job! <laughs> okay, now I want you to please circle the monkey's nose. Can you circle the monkey's nose for me, please? Circle the monkey's nose. You can do it! You can do it! Uh-oh! Are you sure about your answer? Are you sure about that? Hmm. Okay, listen to teacher. Teacher said, Please circle the monkey's nose. Monkey's nose. Good job! You got it correct. I am giving you a good job reward and way to go, star! Okay, so yun lang yun, guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Thank you. Bye!